Bored at work? Your imagination needs stimulation? Don't hit that touch screen. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Network. Stick around. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Previously on the gray area. What if I told you that there was a way to return to the past? I can't step out of the circle. She's somehow getting I'm through. coming, Maya! Okay, time traveler, what happened? Maya is what happened. Wait a minute. What? I thought it was just a light. Why do you look older? It's it's like you've aged five or six years overnight. Don't touch anyone! Don't touch anyone! You must return! No! Ah! Don't leave now, then Chester will sink his talons into everyone! Quick, run! I came here through an open door, my heart was beating bad But my darling came before my eyes and I stopped feeling sad The clock had turned back, it showed you yes, some details here weren't right A voice called out from where I'd been, desire was sitting tight Then a cookie man with a gushing voice said the universe was at stake And a flying beast arrived at lunch as I tried to eat my steak my darling did not text me back, the restaurant went to shreds. Beast tore through the fancy joint, I hope no one was dead. And the portal came and the portal cried, it seemed no one met back. But I'm not returning to a life without an inside track. And now I'm on the run from time, but you can't stop my life. My heart is bigger than my hurt, and she will be my wife. This way. Walk in here. Well, what happened then? And the waiter. I'm afraid it's too late for him. What the hell was that? You said his name was Chester? Well, well, I guess Chester can get a bit finicky when he flips between universes. Oh, hello there. Between universes? You didn't think it came from this one, did you? Why are you even running? Side walk, walk, side, side run. Can you stop so big? Why, yes. We have approximately one minute before Chester stops his feeding and flies after Miss Needham. Now do you believe me, Alicia? Chester, he's after me. What do you think he wants to do with me? Well, no one can really say. Chester has an instinct of his own. He's as hard to read as the Voynich manuscript. But he does tend to make cameo appearances whenever there's a cosmic disturbance. And there's been a big one here thanks to you. Uh, Of course. Chelsea, you are the only person I know who could stir up a cosmic disturbance. God knows you've made plenty of other messes. Time's up. Maybe we should harden that out. I'm afraid that may not be entirely wise. So how do we clean up this mess, uh, Mr. Receptionist? Why, yes, I am the receptionist. Can we call you something else? Yeah, like Bob or Jim or something. If it will make you feel better, but that isn't my name. Don't take this the wrong way, Miss Needham, but you're not meant to be here. It's vital that I take you back to your original place, but we must avoid Chester's brute force. You must travel back safely. Okay. Hey, buddy. Ow. Uh, cameo appearance, we, we should probably get the hell out of Chester's eyeline. Okay, Ava DuVernay. You got a plan, Bob? It's the receptionist. Why, yes! As the old saying goes, we can hide, but we can't run. I think you got it the other way around. We're set the Bob. If we keep running, he won't give up easily. Chester, it sounds like the type of guy who won't say no when you turn him down. Yeah, the nice guy who really isn't so nice. Oh, Chester doesn't date. He's already assigned. Assigned? To mate with the other retainers. Okay, the last thing I need to know about a beast hoping to tear his claws into me is how he gets lucky. Let's lie low in this alley for a bit. Besides, I've got to call Maya. I haven't heard from her. I'm afraid we have much bigger things to contend with than your love life. Or Chester's, for that matter. What's that thing? Why, it's an electromatter scanner. It it looks like a PKE meter. I modified it a bit before I made the journey. It wasn't easy. Devices don't always make it through, even when they are disassembled. So you earned an Eagle Scout. Big deal. We receptionists are often underestimated. But we're more resourceful than you think. And if we're going to hide, then we must make sure that we're safe. So the other man I saw, the guy who looked and talked like you? Oh, he wasn't me. But but he also was me. You see, there are so many of us. 
Chester, he's not far. Yes, if my calculations are correct, we have one minute and 34 seconds before he finds us and tears us into tiny pieces. Great, 90 seconds to draft my last will and testament. Wait. So you're saying there's some place out there that sends you into other universes? Why, yes! Very well observed. The boss hatches us to make sure that everything stays safe. And I've been assigned to you, Miss Needham. I hope by assigned you don't mean... Why, no, Miss Needham. I'm very flattered, but I have no need for what you might call... hooking up? Uh, I don't swing that way. You play baseball. Well, there was that shortstop on the high school softball team who I made out with in the dugout, but why don't we talk about that later? Guys, I really don't want to be ripped to shreds. Receptionist, what do you got? Uh, I am the receptionist and I exist to serve. I think you mean your plan. Why, yes, I'm working on that right now. I have been assigned to you. Just what you always wanted, Chelsea. A guy who follows you around, wipes your ass, and never says your place or mine as a pretext. Oh, dear. What's wrong? The, the, the big guy is on his way. Chester, that is his name, and the receptionist is mine. And now let me see. Bob! Bob! This is only going to take seconds. Bob! <laughs> uh, the receptionist. Receptionist? The receptionist. It's important that you use the definite article. We don't have much time. Are we really going to be okay in this alley? Well, that all depends on the electromatter scanner, Miss Needham. You really shouldn't be here. This is all quite abnormal. I guessed. The priority receptionist right now is about to get away from that crazy beast. The electromatter scanner says we're very close. We're about 20 meters from a center of this universe where we'll be safe. You see, every universe has a few pockets. Pockets? The pockets protecting outliers. Outliers? Is that who we are? Aha! Here it is. A garbage dumpster? You got any better ideas? If we hop in here, Chester won't see us. Oh, gosh, thanks. I'm afraid this is the only way. The electromatter scanner insists that this is the pocket. Sometimes the answer is staring right in front of your nose. Smell of trash throws Chester off? The bad smell is merely a coincidence. Come on, Alicia. How bad can it be? If the alternative involves being clawed up by a crazy interdimensional beast with a weirdly comforting first name, I think we can deal. Why, yes. I'm afraid we're going to have to close the lid. <laughs> Gross. Gross. It will only be five minutes. Chester will pass and then we can reconnoiter. How do we know we can trust you? Maybe you were the one who brought Chester here. You're just now having doubts? I assure you that- Maybe we should say mom, Alicia. Chester might hear us. I assure you, Miss Needham, that Chester won't hear us here. This is a pocket. A very smelly one. Well, Miss Alicia, every universe has a few places that eludes the retainers. Pockets aren't always pleasant. <laughs> The, the retainers? They can't stay here forever. That would use up too much energy. But when they're here... They do a lot of damage. Are you sure he can't hear us? It will pass. Looks like he's lost interest. But if he comes back... You never really did say who you were. Re receptionist? Yes. Come on, don't you have a life story? A family? Some night where you got really drunk and did something bad? Well... As I've said before, we, we, we receptionists don't have names. That would be too personal. And we abstain from drugs and alcohol. It's important that we remain pure. Guys? What if people want to get to know you? Oh, no one is ever interested in knowing me. But that's okay. I exist to serve. Don't you have any hobbies? What do you do for fun? Miss Alicia, my pleasure involves serving you and Miss Needham. And any other traveler who requires my assistance. Traveler? I think he's referring to me. Guys, we should really focus on the immediate problem. Miss Alicia, do you have a last name? I feel as if I'm not being sufficiently courteous, and I don't want a black check mark to get on my record. It's Rush, Alicia Rush. Miss Rush! Oh, what a charming surname. Is that why you're so quick to ask questions? Jesus! He knows we're in here! Receptionist, you said this was a pocket. Why is he trying to get in here? Just wait. We're safe here. This is a hot pocket. <laughs> and Chester out there is a cheetah hawking cheese pops. 
relax, Chelsea. It's just another bumpy ride on the side. What was that? A portal! Oh, this is so exciting. A portal? Like the one that brought me here? Or the one at the Savoy? That homicidal flapping thing that started clawing at the clientele? Not quite. The portals aren't all dangerous, you know. All clear! Uh, I'm sorry you experienced any discomfort. Miss Needham is drawing quite a tacky on trail. Is this your way of saying I stink? I splashed on some Midnight Rose before getting here. The best land comb in the world isn't going to rid you of that stink. No, <laughs> Miss Needham. What I'm saying is that you're disgusting. What I'm saying is come that- Come on, we've been in worse scrapes. Won't that thing come back? A retainer can only appear once every 24 hours. We're safe for now. You sure about that? Those are the rules. The boss is a stickler about abiding by the code. Who's the boss? You're acquainted with the works of Tony Danza? Who gave you your cues in 1992 issue of Entertainment Weekly? Come on, Alicia. Who hasn't been awkward from time to time? Oh, I know. I was hatched with information applicable to many universes. For some reason, there's a Tony Danza in almost every universe. It's almost as if Tony Danza offers an uncanny stability in the face of chaos. That and Norman Rockwell painting. Why, yes! Norman Rockwell is almost nearly as ubiquitous as Tony Danza. But it's Danza who has the real staying power. Are you sure you haven't traveled, Miss Rush? What about the people at the Savoy? Chester was tearing into them. The waiter? Yeah, the waiter was a little rude. But ripping off a person's arm seems an excessive form of criticism, don't you think? If he didn't like the service, Chester could have just left a Yelp review. Oh, Chester can't read or write or speak. Retainers are rudimentary beings designed to withstand any potential changes whenever they're traveling from universe to universe. They operate by instinct. And did that instinct harm any of the people at the restaurant? Oh, I suspect Chester may have killed a few of them. He can be a tad murderous at times. Jesus Christ! How can you be so flip? Yeah, receptionist! Aha! Ah, oh, now you're getting my name right. If only you'd include the the. Here's a little hint, the receptionist. Sometimes a soft touch gets you a lot further than a blunt sentiment. You're one to talk, Chelsea. Well... Oh, but I empathize with all whom I serve. Buddy, Bob, whatever the fuck we're calling you. The receptionist? Whatever! Receptionist, those people at the restaurant had lives. They deserved to live. I don't know if he understands. Oh, I understand about life. But do you understand about love? See, that's why I can't go back. But I must take you back. It's vital that this universe remain safe. But what if I'm meant to be here? Scarlet seemed very surprised that I was able to get through the door. Even Chester came close to turning that dumpster into a ripped beer can. But he didn't. Why? Why, yes. I must confess that anomalies along these lines are not supposed to happen. But it did happen. And you want to know why? It's because the universe, or maybe your boss, has decided that I have a chance to fix my mistakes. You know, maybe we'd have a better conversation if we all got washed up. What an excellent idea. I do know that stinky people are frowned upon here. When one is depleted of the resources one needs to survive, a stinky person can become invisible. A stinky person? I think he's talking about the homeless. Why, yes! I see so many of you walk right past them even when they're asking for food or change. Don't they deserve to live? Much like the people at the restaurant? Getting a little lippy there, eh, receptionist? Uh, I'm only asking a question so that I can understand you and serve you better. I'm just asking questions. Classic concern trolling. Is this a Reddit thread or a conversation? We really need to get cleaned up. We can go to Maya's place. Do you think she'll mind? That's an excellent idea. We can get cleaned up and form a strategy to correct the metastasis. Metastasis? Maybe there's a way that you can stay. Look, just what authority do you answer to? The boss. Do you mean God? Because I sure as hell don't believe in a god. Well, I don't know if there are any gods, but there is the boss and there are travelers. Travelers? Yes! Those who travel from one universe to another. And then there's the middle part. The middle part? The ones who don't make the journey. A waiting room? Yes! There is a waiting room! Miss Rush, you're catching on very quick. 
We have one waiting room that is largely safe, but that's not the one I'm referring to. A VIP lounge? In a manner of speaking, a place for certain luminaries who can make a direct journey. We never quite know when the portal opens for them, but we do our best to accommodate. We even have an espresso machine. But there's another place. A place very dangerous. What place? Yeah, camp any worse than a Bushwick dive. Oh, Miss Ross, you don't understand. In this place, they're all waiting, begging to get in. But I've said too much. We really should get cleaned up. I don't want to stink like this all day. Yeah, but don't let him stop. He's on a roll. Receptionist, what is this place? Why didn't I see it when I traveled through the door? I don't wish to belittle you, Miss Needham, or make you invisible, but you are the pathogen! I'm not a pathogen, I'm a human being! Look, maybe we can figure this out once we're all washed up. Is this your way of saying that you'll help me? Are you fucking kidding? This is completely insane! Do you think I'd miss it? But besides, if my future self was loyal to you after you lost everything, well then you know I'm good when you've traveled back in time. And, and then the receptionist here seems to be the only guy with the answers. Why, yes. Cool. Hey, why hasn't Maya texted me back? Good. Above everything else, he sings in the shower. Do you think he leaves the toilet seat up? I think he's too polite for that. Why hasn't Maya texted me back? Maybe the editorial meetings are going well? She said she would call. She'll call. I'm going to call. No, don't. Put down the phone. Why? Because it has to be her choice. Maybe in the future you two have a comfortable routine, but out here, in the past, your past, you've only been going up for a month. Remember? Right. Sometimes you've got to let the girl chase you. Let her make the move. Right. I knew there was a reason I could trust you on this. Hey, I'm only reiterating what you told me last week. I'm sorry. I, I can't remember. What did I tell you? What I just told you. It's all so circular. What do you think happened to the other Chelsea? Do you think he knows? We should ask him. There are little things here that just aren't right. I wasn't at apotheosis that long. Maybe you're changing the future as we speak? No, it's not that. Okay, Gabrielle Giffords. I saw that on the TV. That happened, yes? Yes. What else is going on in the news? You've been the political one, not me. I don't keep close track. Just think, for me, at the top of your head. Little things. Like the Republican vice presidential candidate in the last election? You mean Mike Huckabee? Mike Huckabee? No! Come on, you know who this is! She was a laughing stock. Tina Fey made fun of her on Saturday Night Live. She? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a dude. You don't know who Sarah Palin is? No, I've never heard of her. Well, goddamn! This universe is a little different. Obama is president, right? Right. Who ran against him? Ron Paul after John McCain was assassinated. Wait, what? And then there was the vice presidential debate between Huckabee and Dennis Kucinich. Kucinich? Obama picked Kucinich, not Joe Biden? Come on, Ed. Everybody saw that debate. Huckabee had a live meltdown on air when he was asked about foreign policy and confessed that he had been carrying on an affair with his daughter Sarah for years. Then Huckabee had to step down as a candidate and was found wandering the streets of Little Rock. He was wrapped naked in a confederate flag. Holy shit! Then, then there were all these uh, YouTube videos of naked people wrapped in the confederate flag showing solidarity with Huckabee. The white power incest movement? You don't know this? <laughs> That's not how it happened to where I came from. Wait a minute. The receptionist wants to take me back. He seems so certain that I don't belong here. But I do, Alicia. I do. I mean, as crazy as this has been, I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, me too. This is just like old times. It is old times for you. Don't forget, you're eight years older. Do you think Maya's going to be upset that I brought over two people to her place? Well, she knows about me, but him? Let's wait for her to call. Well, speak of the devil. Hello? Chelsea! Jen! Yeah, I'm I'm on the presentation. Oh, fuck. Have you tracked down Lay? No, not yet. Well, 
Get on it pronto. We have the big meeting tomorrow morning. The Brill scene building. What a marvelous ablution. Great water Chelsea. pressure. Receptionist, uh, oh <gasps> my god, put some clothes Chelsea. on. Oh, is that what? the custom uh, in this universe? Chelsea. Receptionist, um, you can't just walk around naked. Chelsea. I'm so sorry. Um, Chelsea. I thought that I was being... Receptionist, what? Um, oh. What's going on there? Uh, um, it's, it's all part of the investigation, oh. Jan. Can what I call you the... back for an update in about an hour? Hello, no. I am the receptionist. That'll be fine. What in the... But I need to know what you're going to talk about. Hello? I still haven't received the overview. Don't see... worry. You'll have what it. What the hell is going on? We're going to sell them on it. Alicia? Oh, no. Look, I've I've got to go. There's a plan in place. Chelsea, but I'll fill you in later. I am the receptionist. Chelsea, what in the hell is going on? Look, Maya? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can explain. I am the receptionist. What is this naked man doing here? Maya, it's not what you think. Really, it isn't. I made a huge mistake letting you stay here. <laughs> this is over. I need you all to leave. Maya, I'm telling you, it's not what you think it is. What's that? It's an electromatter scanner. Receptionist, let's get some clothes on you. But this is not good. What's not good? I thought you said that Chester can only come here once every 24 hours. Chester. I did, but it appears that there's enough tachyon energy here to secure an exception. Who's Chester? Reception is tachyon energy. <laughs> Look, take your weird cosplay Ghostbuster shit elsewhere. I need all of you to leave. Maya, it's really important that I tell you what's going on. I've had enough explanations to last me six therapy sessions. Please. Maya, I know this looks weird. A naked man in my apartment? <laughs> yeah, I'll say. The electromatter scanner is delivering some truly dangerous readings. But I thought you said... <laughs> what the hell? Or what? Or you may end up as Chester's latest meal. <laughs> to be continued. Two weeks' time. You've been listening to Same Age in Sun, Chapter 3 of Paths Not Taken, Episode 10.3 of The Gray Area. It was written, produced, and directed by Edward Shankin. Katrina Clairvoyant appeared as Chelsea. Elizabeth Remar appeared as Alicia. Tanya Maloyevich appeared as Maya. Ingeborg Reedbeyer appeared as Jan Swilson, and Zach Glassman appeared as the receptionist. Background voices provided by Alexander Bill, Brandon P. Jenkins, and Tal Manier. Creature voices by Samantha Cooper and Rachel Baer. The Paths Not Taken songs were written and performed by Edward Champion. Incidental music licensed through Neo Sounds and Music Box. Sound design, editing, engineering, and mastering by a bald man in Brooklyn who once grew a mustache and shaved it off two weeks later because he looked absolutely preposterous. If you like what you have heard and you don't want to wait two weeks from now for a new episode, well, have I got a situation for you. You can support our program by going to grayareapod.podbean.com and buying a Season 2 Pass. For only $20, you will have access to all upcoming episodes that we have we're putting them all out under the premium feed as we finish them, along with access to all copies of the scripts and our premium behind-the-scenes podcast, Inside the Gray Area. You will get a 1,000 pages of script, as well as about maybe 400, 500 minutes of extra bonus material. I really, quite frankly, have lost count. Think of the Season 2 Pass as uh, a DVD commentary, or perhaps a way to go ahead and say, oh, wow, I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, I want to see this program continue. We spent more than two years producing the second season, and all the actors were paid. We want to keep on doing this. So buy a season two pass, and you will be supporting independent audio drama and helping to keep our show alive. Again, you can go to grayareapod.podbean.com. Also, there's one other thing you can do if you can't actually do that. You can leave us a review on iTunes and let our listeners know why this is a really silly and fun program. So go to iTunes, leave a review. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Just search for Gray Area Pod, G R A Y A R E A P O D. Special thanks to Sasha Arnold, Taz Benjamin, Christopher Bird, Emily Carding, Rebecca Carter, Christian Caminiti, Ron Charles, Kate Christensen, Morgan Corcoran, Adrian Davich, 
Samuel Delaney, Claudia Berenice Garza, Pam Getchell, Stephen Gillis, Jen Halpert, Daniel Handler, Gabby Jimenez, Argeria Cahayas, Eric Kraft, Pete Lutz, Casey Meyer, Russ Marshall, and Sheila McClure, Tanya Malayevich, Ayo Anatati, Tom Parsons, Amy Pavey, Mark Elliott Stein, Katie Stricker, Scarlett Thomas, Georgia Thompson, Tim Torre, James Wagner, Jack Ward, Dan Wicked, and anybody else I may have missed for their invaluable help, kindness, and feedback. We will be back in two weeks' time with the next exciting and thrilling chapter in Paths Not Taken, and this one is called Unfound Door. Now, how will our friends escape from the dreaded Chester? Will the receptionist begin to understand human customs? Well, you can find all this out next week, or you can listen to it right now. Hell, you can listen to all seven parts of this exciting epic if you purchase a season two pass by going to grayareapod.podbean.com. But no worries, we understand. We'll have a short preview of the next episode after these closing credits. Until next time, wherever you are in the universe, be good to yourself and kind to others. Thank you again so much for listening. Next time on the gray area. Who hasn't screwed up from time to time? Is this about my grandfather? Is that why you asked? Because even though the details are different, the event is similar enough to wreak havoc within this timeline. second time. Wait, do I know you? A tiger never changes her stripes. Once a man starts wearing a Melissa Etheridge t-shirt, he starts sounding a lot smarter. Do you think I didn't notice that you were older? Where is it? Where the fuck is the magic brew you gave me? My God. The two Miss Needhams appear to have merged. This should not be. Disappear. Well, it seems that... What? What's happening to me? I've never seen such an anomaly. You brought me here. You sent me through that door. Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen. The demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour bring you... Twisted Pulp Magazine. A journey beyond surreality to worlds you never knew or hoped existed. Worlds of the supernatural. Worlds of dark satire. Worlds of nightmarish futures. Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. That's D I G I T A L V A U D E V I L L E.com. Mm-hmm.